Hello all, welcome to another video of Components 101. In this video, I'll show you the working of the famous CB4052, which is a 4-channel analog multiplexer and demultiplexer IC. So as you can see here, I have configured the 4052 to work as a demultiplexer as well as a multiplexer over here. So let's start with the multiplexer first. So the simulation is already running. Let me make everything zero. So as you can see, it is a 4 is to 1 multiplexer, meaning it will convert 4 inputs to 1 output, which is on this side. The X and Y are the outputs here. The X0, Y0, X1, Y1, X2, Y2, X3, Y3 forms the 4 channel inputs for the multiplexer. One important thing to notice is that the INH pin acts as an enable pin, so it should be always grounded for proper operation of the IC. And you can select whatever channel you want to using the a and b pins which is the 10 and 9 so right now which is uh, both a and b is 0 meaning channel 0 is selected so that means x0 and y0 will be reflected on the output side so right now x0 y0 both are 0 so both is 0 on the output as well let me make this one so this will also become 1 and if i make y0 1 sorry y0 1 this will also become 1 so other than these two pins, other than X0 and Y0, none of the pins will affect the output. So X1, Y1, X3 will not affect the output and Y1, Y2, Y3, sorry, Y3 will also not affect the output. So 0, 0 shows X0 and Y0 on the output. If I make 1 and 0, which selects channel 1, that is X1 and Y1 and you can see X1's and y1's output on being reflected on the output side so similarly if i make it 0 and 1 channel 3 will be selected sorry channel 2 will be selected that is y2 and x2 will be selected so you can see here and if i make both of these one channel 3 will be selected so whatever i do with channel 3 will be reflected on the output so this is how it works as a multiplexer for a demultiplexer let me close this and open the demultiplexer circuit it works the opposite way so again you will have the a and b pins to select the input and output let me run the simulation first so yes so again let me make this zero so the same way we'll have the a and b to select the channel and this time x and y will act as an input and all the four channels will act as an output Say for now 0 is selected, so channel 0 will be active on the output side, while x and uh, whatever we give to x and y will be reflected to channel 0. So as you can see only channel 0 is enabled and whatever I do here will be reflected on channel 0. Similarly 1 and 0 will shift it to channel 1 and whatever I do here will be reflected on channel 1 and 0 and 1 will move it to channel 2 and whatever I do here will be reflected on channel 2 as you can see here and 1 and 1 will shift it to channel 3. So this is how you can use this IC as a multiplexer and demultiplexer. Hope you understood the tutorial. Thanks for watching.